All right, this is Coach Penny, and I'm going to show you how to do your traffic ad for an Elite Marketing Pro blog post. Now, the post I'm going to use is not a post necessarily that I recommend you use. Um, you have to choose which post to promote. I don't know if this one is going to convert for you or not. I don't know if the audience I will choose in my ad is going to convert for you or not. These are examples to teach you the strategy and to show you the tactics for cre creating that traffic ad with an EMP blog post so that you can change the image out to your own image and get that ad running, linking to the Elite Marketing Pro blog. So I've selected this one. We're on the blog page here. Um, we have several in here. And we're just going to come down and find one by Fernie that we know is probably going to promote the 10 day boot camp. So how to pro how to build your network marketing business online in three strategic steps. I am not suggesting that you promote this post. This is just the one I've chosen as an example. You can tell it promotes the boot camp because that's the offer here on the side. So what you're going to do is in the top here and when you scroll outside that space, the pop up's going to come up. Just get rid of it if you need to. And right here, you're going to type in question mark, AFF underscore ALIAS equals. So it's like a math equation. It's called an alphanumeric string equation. So affiliate alias equals, mine is PS Kelly. You're going to put your ID in there, okay? We're going to type and sub ID equals, and I'm going to do Facebook and today's date. You're going to click enter, and that's just going to um, what we call ping the link that you just created, and it's also going to create a campaign in your back office. So that campaign in your back office, we've just gone to My Elite Hub. You're going to click My Offers, go down to Campaigns. And we're just going to choose today. I'm going to scroll down. You see two visits. And there's the one I just did. And that's a blog post. Um, so somebody else clicked on a blog post link. And right here is the one I just created. So it's working. That's all we want to know is it's working. All right. So now I'm going to come back to the blog. I'm going to copy this entire link here. Just click up there. Right click, copy, go to your ads manager. You're going to create an ad. Right here, you're going to click traffic in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and do traffic, um, three strategic. So we know it's the EMP post. We're going after link clicks. So you can do landing page views or link clicks. Landing page views require you to have your Facebook pixel on that page. You guys don't own the EMP blog, so that's not going to work. You have to do link clicks. All right. Now we're going to go ahead. Its website is correct up here. I'm going to go ahead and... Let's see, detail targeting. Okay, social, religious, or political topics. You can try removing them for quicker review or they may take longer. So we're not going to have any of those, I don't believe. We're not going to use saved audiences or custom audiences for this. I'm going to build it from scratch because most of you guys are going to be starting fairly new. What I recommend is taking your age, minus 10 years, plus 10 years, no more than minus 15, plus 15. So what I usually do on mine, I usually start um, in the low 30s. And I go up to um, somewhere around 60 or 64. And that's just what I have discovered works best for me. We'll stop at 62 on this one. It's, um, it's testing, guys, to see what works. And if you 
have a preference to have men or women in your audience if your product uh, helps you determine that or there's personal reasons, whatever, then you can choose just men or women. With my company, it's, it's pretty much everybody and my primary company on the back end. So when I run ads, I usually do all. And then you can do Network Marketing Pro. Eric Worry, you can do just Eric Worry. You can try just Network Marketing Pro. You can add in Sarah Robbins. You can add in Ray Higdon. You can add in Savvy Network Marketing Women if you'd like. Um, those guys both run a lot of their own ads. So just know that it may, um, it may cost you a little bit more when you do those on occasion. And you know, you, once you get a few things in there, Facebook will start giving you some suggestions. And you can edit the placements here. So you wanna make sure this box is unchecked, expand interest. So you wanna un uncheck it if it's checked. You're gonna edit your placements. I do all devices. You're going to uncheck Messenger, uncheck Audience Network, uncheck Instagram, and then you're going to uncheck the individual boxes for right column and instant article. So you're just leaving Facebook feeds on. Set your budget to whatever you want that to be. And then continue. And here's where we're going to build our ad. So you want a single image. Choose your page if you have more than one. And we're going to see if I have something in here I can use. I'll just use this one. That's worked in other ads. If you have personal pictures, then you definitely want to do that. Pictures of yourself and teammates or yourself and... Um, Friends, even like yourself and friends out at coffee or, or whatever, that's fine. It doesn't have to be at a network marketing event. And then that website URL we copied earlier, we're going to paste right here. And you see it's got all the information in there that we need. And we're going to come right here. Copy that headline. So see, it put part of it in there, but not all of it. I'm going to come right back over here. And I'm just going to copy these sentences to make for my intro. So nine months into, I'm not going to pretend it's my story, his network marketing business. I recruited 17 people. And all of them had quit. After countless home meetings, at his mom's house, friends' houses, strangers' houses, and attending company events, regional events, and after literally tens of thousands of miles driven and $10,000 in the hole, he was ready to quit. It's pretty embarrassing, and he absolutely did not want to face the I told you so from anyone. So he took a leap of faith and started searching the internet for answers. Let's see what he found.
click below to read the article. And newsfeed link description, it's probably going to revert to this anyway. Um, I would not put pyramid thing in your article. So I just do to here. Put the ellipse, the little three dots there. And it should revert to just Elite Marketing Pro. If it has your affiliate ID or anything else in there, you can just make it EliteMarketingPro.com. And then that is it. You're just going to click the button here to confirm. All right, so we're just going to click that confirm button. And this is the page you'll see for confirmation. Um, you can duplicate the ad if you want more than one. I suggest you let one ad run with that budget and then duplicate if you want to scale. But wait until you're getting results. And your goal is to get 2,500 to 5,000 on the reach for an ad. And I'm going to show you where to find that. Right here, the reach. Okay. And that's when this is just showing like the last 30 days. So that's the reach. And then you're also looking for, this is not the same kind of ad, you're looking for cost per click for link clicks of 50 cents or less, or as close to that as you can get, and a click-through rate of about 2%. To see those, you're going to go to the ad level. Columns right here, you're going to performance and clicks. And you're going to scroll on over. Looking for link clicks, cost per click, and click through rate. You can see these are astronomical. I would turn this ad off immediately if it were a, um, a traffic ad, but it's got a relevance of nine and it's not a traffic ad, it's an engagement ad. I'm looking for comments, I'm not looking for them to click. So it's a different objective that I'm telling Facebook. So I hope you found this helpful. Get those ads up, run those traffic campaigns, get your own picture in there, and I look forward to seeing you on those traffic webinars and in the community. Have a great day.